Hi guys, it's your girl Kill Chemist and I am coming to you really quickly just to share a hairstyle that I did. It's not a tutorial, it's just me sharing. Um, so I got up this morning to prep my hair for a braid out for this weekend because I'm going to be traveling home to North Carolina to attend the greatest homecoming on earth. Shout out to all the North Carolina A&T State University Aggies who might be watching this video. Happy homecoming to you. Um, so yeah, I got up this morning to prep my hair for a braid out. And since I'm not going to be taking the braids out for the braid out until this weekend, I wanted to do something interesting with my hair. Um, so instead of doing my usual ponytail, pigtail, side ponytail, uh, other variations of a ponytail, um, I decided to try to do a little updo. So I just wanted to show you what I came up with. So what I did, I'm going to tell you what I did. Um, after I got all my hair braided, three locks per braid, I basically did a basket weave in the front to the middle of my head. So that's what this part is. Just a basket weave. It's not the best basket weave, but it, it works. And so then I had basket weave in the front and locks hanging in the back. So I decided to do a basket weave in the back, going up to the top. Um, for each basket weave, I basically took the last two braids that I was crossing over and used those to tie off my hair. But since my hair is in braids, it's a little heavier than when I normally would just tie my hair up um, when it's loose. It feels a little weighted. So I did use one hairpin in each of the, I guess, the tied off locks to secure it a little more. So I just used one hairpin and kind of slid it in. Um, so after that, I had all these like loose braids sticking up in the center of my head. I look kind of like the Statue of Liberty. Um, so all I did was began to kind of mold those over and tuck them and tuck them because I was trying to use as few pins as possible. So for the longer ones, I was able to kind of bend them over and just tuck them and tuck them in, tuck them in. And for the ones that were a little shorter, I did use a couple more hairpins. So I maybe have about um, four hairpins in this whole style. But uh, it, I really like this because the braids create this very intricate looking style and it looks like I put a lot more effort into it than I actually did. And of course, the outcome will be that I can have my braid out um, this weekend. So. Let me just show you right quick. Uh, again, this is the front. Hopefully you can get a good view of the top here. This is the side. The back. And the other side. So I hope you guys are having a great Tuesday. I have to hurry up and get out the door. I will talk to you later. Bye.